grades mean a lot to me. Um, mostly because I'm on a scholarship program, so I have to maintain a certain grade. I actually came into the the honors program here, so now that I need to keep a certain GPA, that, that really set a standard for me. To me, grades are um, something that I've worked my whole life to kind of maintain, and I, I think everyone who has gotten into UCSB probably feels the same way, that it's kind of like um, just this like benchmark of accomplishment that we're always like trying to strive for. I think when I was a student, I imagined somebody just looking for an excuse to take marks off. <laughs> somebody who was wanting you to do badly. It's very much the opposite. There's a certain component that is about, did the student answer the question correctly? And then there's another component of, did I present the material in a way that would allow the student to answer this question correctly? Every student is different and learns in a different way. And not all students are going to do well on a multiple choice test or an essay test or paper or presentation. Different students have different skills in the way they learn and the way they can um, demonstrate what they've learned to others. If I'm being perfectly frank with you, grades mean nothing. The comments that I provide on your paper, on your work, are what is most valuable because we're looking for growth over time. I think one thing I learned about myself through just all of being at UCSB is that my grade doesn't reflect how much I learned in the class. Mm. So like some of the classes that I got a C plus in, I feel like I learned that class a lot better than some classes that I got an A in. And so I think grades are important in that it helps somewhat show your understanding of the class. But at the same time, I think if you get like a C, it doesn't define you as a person. Grades don't always define a student, but to me, just the way getting here and, you know, getting out of here, I would like to leave a great record saying that I tried my best in all my classes. A student who really sticks in my mind is a student who, who took one of my semester at C courses um, and, and failed the midterm. I mean, just the worst grade in the class. It was, uh, it, it, basically showed no understanding of the material whatsoever. She came up to me and said, I, this is horrible, I can't, I can't fail, my parents will kill me. I said, well, there's no reason for you to fail, you know, you, you, you absolutely can understand this material. And um, she said, what can I do? I said, you can talk to me every day about the material. When you're free from class, I want you to, you know, come and see me, and I want you to start asking questions. Over the ensuing weeks, her questions got better and better and better, and the, by the end, they were really, I mean, again, the kind of questions that you really like from a student that shows that they're pushing beyond what you told them. The thing that was even more important than that was that she realized her own intellectual capacities. I think she got a real sense of empowerment out of it in addition to mastering the body material. Well, she got the highest grade on the final, and so that was how could you have a more rewarding experience than that than a student who falls off the curve on one end on the midterm and who leads the curve uh, on the other end. Mm -hmm.